Hi everyone, I am Luke DeSmet, Technical Support Engineer at Oros. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial video on rotating analysis with FFT. This tutorial will show how to analyze a vibration signal coming from a rotating machine while it speeds up. This signal contains two tracks, one for an accelerometer and another for a tachometer. In a healthy rotor, the majority of vibration comes from imbalance. Order one is the response of imbalance, so comparing the overall level, orange plot, with the order one level, green plot, gives a good indication of health monitoring. Thus, we expect both plots to be close. You can see on this signal that is not the case, especially below 26,000 RPMs. Let's look at the narrow band spectrogram where indeed the order one profile is flat up to 26,000 RPMs, whereas order 2.6 and 3.1 are contributing more to the overall level than order one below this speed. Let's add those two orders to show the main contributing orders on the same graph. Let's see now step by step how to build this kind of setup for rotating analysis. Let's open the select inputs window and activate the first three inputs as acceleration as we will use a triaxial accelerometer. We changed the input labels accordingly. A microphone is connected to input 4. Then we select the transducers used. The sensors have been previously registered in our transducers database. We check the record signals box to save the raw signal to be used later in post analysis. In the FFT plugin tab, we can select the external sync 1 channel as tachometer. We adjust the threshold and the coupling. The range peak is OK. We increase the maximum speed to be measured. We open the results window. In the FFT tab, we select the average spectra and display them for the triaxial accelerometer and the microphone. In the 1 over N octave tab, we select the overall weighted level for the microphone. And in the tachometer tab, we choose to display the instant speed. Clicking on view recording, the signals are displayed. In the displays and graph ribbon, the windows can be arranged automatically. We open the FFT settings, increase the number of lines, and set the overlap to 60%. The averaging parameters are suitable for transient analysis, as well as the type of windowing. We now open the 1 over N octave tab. The time constant for the averaging is fast, and we choose to use an A weighting for the microphone. We will now post-analyze a pre-recorded signal that was recorded using the setup from our previous steps. The signal to be post-analyzed and the corresponding input windows are displayed. In the Profile section of the FFT tab, we select the Overall. We define the External Sync 2 as Tachometer. Check the Tachometer settings. Create the Overall Profile window. In the waterfall section, we create a waterfall of average spectra for input 3. And in the profile section of the tachometer tab, we select the tachometer profile. The number of points collected in the waterfall is enough. We adjust the time axis of the tachometer profile. Then we can launch the post analysis.
we extend the waterfall window and also display its 2D projections. We can adjust the size of the graphs, We automatically adjust the Y scale using Control A. We place the cursor on the peak. And then we display the info trace where we can read the corresponding order number. We will now create a section to display the profile of the order 1. and we adjust the width of the extraction. The new section is displayed in the order projection. Moving the cursor on the waterfall, the order projection is updated while the order one section remains. We will create a delta RPM event using the speed acquired on external sync 2. In the delta RPM tab, we check the event settings and adjust the delta velocity for which the spectra will be collected in the waterfall. We open the waterfall settings and set the waterfall trigger to the created delta RPM event.